Go. I'm fine, how about yourself? I just passed out earlier today, but I feel rested now as a result. Fine, we'll do normal mode. There's gonna be no streaming mode, so I have no idea how to get that to start working. Excellent. Ah, let's get through this, shall we? We're awake, we're alive. And now, we explore. This game is designed to take multiple runs. So, wish the evil. Do you have the headless fellow that's been getting around? Yes? What's the matter, cat got your tongue? That's right, no tongue. Back from the dead. Surely must have noticed. You can no longer die. You don't really understand it. But you're not the first to find yourself in the situation if that's what you want to know. Okay, but Dark Souls? I never started on Dark Souls. I don't... I own the very first Dark Souls. And that's it. I own the very first Dark Souls, that's it, and I couldn't get it to work on my PC because, Jesus, it was painful to watch the frame rate stutter and my eyes bleed. I am from the United States. About the Midwest area of the United States, if you're wondering why my timings are like this. Also, Jesus Christ, let me dodge. I'm not this bad normally. Now, I would go for time doors, but I feel like it'd be to my benefit to getting as much stuff done as I physically can. First and foremost. What the? Okay, there's nothing out but that doorway. I feel like it'd be to my benefit to see if I can get as many cells as possible considering the upgrade system in this game. Goodbye, you freaking bombardier wannabes. You are nowhere near as annoying as basically everything else. Alright, well, the way forward looks like it's going to be up. Maybe to the left? I want to find the way forward, because I want to get to the time door as soon as possible. And fighting everyone and everything... ...is kind of the opposite of this. There's the promenade of the condemned. A well-sharpened blade cuts deeper, so they say. Well, look who it is. I'm a collector. I'm about the closest thing you'll find a decent company around here. I don't know about you, but I think the warrior woman worked well enough. Bring me the cells you gather from others. In exchange, I'll procure a few useful little items for you. Oh, I didn't give up on Half-Life. I finished the entirety of the Half-Life 2 run-through last Sunday. As such, I'm moving on to... Well, not moving on. This series has been running in the background for quite some time. And I'm just continuing it on Tuesday, and just moving things around a little bit. Should you stumble upon a blueprint, bring it to me, and I will induce, introduce you to some more experimental items. Give me the health flask. What do I need? Unlock one more item so I can actually get the really good stuff. Well, no matter what, I'm going to want to get the gold reserve. And mutation will take combo, because combo always works. Pile of corpses. Funny, they look a little like... me. Oh. What, can I stomp on these repeatedly? No? Alright. Let's fill up the health flask for once, and get a move on. Now, I'm used to having four levels of health flask, meaning I'm actually going to have to become very good at the game in order to survive. But I also know where most of the secrets are, and I will be grabbing as many of them as I physically can. If I can get there fast enough. Time door one? Yes! Time door one. Well, it gives me one of the worst blueprints in the game, in my honest opinion, but I can't really complain that much.
Back to the surface. I still need to go backwards, as there's another secret back here. I just couldn't go to this one first. Oh, don't you dare tell me. You made that slightly too high, didn't you? Son of a how did I get up here? Alright, let's try it from jumping up high. There is a secret up here that I would very much like to grab. The Assassin's Dagger. So I tend to backstab my opponents, because I'm a horrible sort like that. Oh no, you hit me very slightly. I need a good weapon. Alrighty then. So I remember the very first fight of this, when it was in its alpha, was merely an elite archer. Which basically became a normal enemy later. The real question is, is, will this trend continue? Will we just fight another elite archer? Sweet, more gold. Now there are benefits to hitting the time doors, or the timing-based doors. I'm going to avoid most of them beyond the first, as right now I am more focused on simply grinding enough cells to make my future run-throughs viable. Not to say that they aren't already, it's just I kind of want more health items than otherwise. And more items, in general. I'll take the balanced blade over the rusty sword, because the rusty sword is garbage. And having a good weapon is going to make all the difference when actually facing off against the, uh... Unfortunate soul. That's ahead of us. So, where is he? Bearer of the first rune. Where do you hide? Alright, I'm so glad we stunned you. Why are there so many training dummies right in this one spot? It feels like they've made the promenade a lot longer than before. Not to say that it's a difficult section to get through, but it just feels like they've made it a lot longer than it used to be. Oh well, the initial release was like, what, two days ago? Statue of the King of the Island. How could he see anything with that helmet on? Maybe he doesn't need to see anything. Who knows. Uh, no, no. We'll, we'll take double wolf trap. One wolf trap is great. Two wolf traps are basically OP as of the last playthrough I did of this. Anyway, here comes the first genuine boss of the area. We're not gonna drink just yet. Toss this down here. Get you trapped in place. And you're dead. And we start off by getting the Vine Rune immediately. This permanent rune allows me to grow vines at will with the press of a button and the flick of my wrist. I'm still too slow on the time door, but that's fine. I'm doing my exploration anyway to get as many secrets as I know about. Now there are two secret areas. Prisoner. A young woman. Prisoner 6541. She's clutching something in her fist. Ooh. Nice! I did not realize that you'd be here. And another Minotaur scroll. I guess we'll continue to upgrade brutality. What matters more is our like baseline burst damage at this point. As opposed to anything. 
as opposed to any of our specialist equipment, because our specialist equipment doesn't necessarily deal damage in the first place anyway. Now, what makes the Death Orb drop? Also, as per the basically last time I did a really big run-through of this place... Toss this at you... I want to not get trapped. And you're dead, thank goodness. Ruby amulet over your sapphire amulet. Poison enemies that wound me, but also boosts my damage to an even greater height. All I can say is that thing is beautiful. Let's crack this bad boy open. I don't think there's anything hidden over here beyond the way you can't progress without going to the ossuary and getting that rune. Or at least what used to be the ossuary. Oh, they got rid of that secret. And as far as I know, the secret that's up there requires the spider climb room to grab. So we'll go to the ramparts, dump off what progress we've made here, and continue getting our upgrades. We now preserve some gold when we die. It's not a lot, but it's helpful. And I would need to get 10 more items. Well, I could do recycling, that would get me some gold back. But I think the getting the first healing flask upgrade that prevents me from dying in the first place would be better. I'll toss up efficiency. Technically, it's a purple upgrade, and I only have green, but I can handle it. Funny, they look a little like me. Sometimes some of the things here have interactions if you look at it multiple times. Now, I'm under no illusion. I think the time door here is five minutes. I definitely did not make the time door. But I'll at least check if I can find it early. Keep things exciting, the guards sometimes threw condemned prisoners from the ramparts. There's definitely nothing worse than, screams of some than the screams of someone falling off the edge. By the way, don't fall off this place. It really, really, really hurts. Oh, don't you dare lie to me. Blood sword. Finally, some good items. Okay, this is not the way forward. I'm gonna be angry if it was seven minutes and just because I took the wrong direction I couldn't get to the time door quickly enough. You're dead, that's fine. I'll take the next ruby amulet, collects golds and cells over an unlimited distance, and I get to cover everything in inflammable oil. Legendary Frost Blast. I'm not using my shield anyway, so we might as well equip it. Legendary Spiked Shield, attacking just after a parry inflicts 300% damage. You know what? Sure, let's have a double legendary setup. We can Kamehameha people to death. Double legendary setup, let's go. So much of this gear is providing me extra health benefits. Oh, it was an eight minute time door and I just made it. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to get purple. If only I can get these wolf traps down to a much lower time period. Thank freaking goodness. It'll be about the same time it takes for me to get up as it would be to teleport over and run across, so we'll just run over here instead. Okay, so I can kill people with the spiked shield off of this. I'm gonna heal up here, just so I don't end up dying accidentally. This is going to be the problem, though. If I can't use this to deal multiple hits, I'm gonna have to focus on trying to one-shot people with it. There's a secret right behind you. 
Le Croissant. And a treasure chest. It's an infantry grenade. I would take it, but the ability to just stun most of our opposition is more important. And that is technically a way forward into a different area, but I can't take it because I don't have a spider climbing room from the sanctuary. And we're not going to be able to get to the sanctuary on this run through. There we go. This is really not working. I might hold on to the frost blast, but I am going to definitely get a different weapon. Something more usable, really. I don't know how you can see me from any distance. Oh well. We're not here to ask those types of questions, we're here to find our way forward and figure out how to get out of this place. Oh, gladly, croissants. You heard me, you're asking the master of bread itself. Would he like to eat a croissant? Gotta remember that that Kamehameha is a very slow move. Support. I remember that mutation. It's not particularly good because I don't think I ever actually got it. Mostly because I don't tend to use a lot of support items except the wolf trap if I get the option. I guess we'll get more brutality. No, we'll get more survival because survival can still scale with everything. frozen in place. I'm surprised the freezing of the water doesn't freeze even me. But I guess we'll figure out what's going on later. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can knock on these doors. Is there anybody in here? Nope. There's that strange flower again. I saw it once before, but I saw nothing else involving it. And here's the Black Bridge. I'm going to take a little bit look, a little look forward to see if there's anything else hidden back here. Crack these bad boys open. Freeze you. Freeze you. Thank goodness I could change direction. Okay, this is gonna have to stop. You guys gonna die anytime soon? Thank you. Oh, get out of the way. Wait. Okay, I deserved it. I just wanna see what's over here. Is that too much to ask? Wow, the ramparts are really extended. I remember when the uh, stuff I wanted to deal with, the Black Bridge, was basically the end of the ramparts. We'll improve survival again. Some free gold. Ram rune. So I can't get through there. Not yet, anyway. There's just more and more stuff. There has to be a reason as to why you would go all the way over here. No? Just upgrades and the ram rune location? Alright. I can get behind it. Not gonna like it. Honestly, that's a good combo. It's just Ice Blast, ka uh, Kamehameha, Spike or er, Knockout with the shield, and Kamehameha again. Meal tray. Been abandoned here for some time. Le baguette. Sure, I'll take it. Cell door. Hey, you there. Oh, it's you. Look, I'm on the other I'm right on the other side of the door for one. I'm on the right side of the door for once. 
I didn't mess around. No answer. That's probably what the flower is for? I think. Ah well. Gaming scrolls. And the reason I'm upgrading the green stuff is all my power scales off the green stuff. Oh look, a shop. Oh look, a better wolf trap. Victims emit a toxic cloud? No, no, I'll take uh, victims get poisoned in the first place. Oh, they're gonna make me climb all the way back to the top. I see how it is. I'm assuming there's gonna be no response here again, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a look. No answer. Hmm. I'm guessing that that flower is a key to the cell, and I would very much like to see that key to the cell, but... Eh. Well, of course, the key to the cell is mitochondria, correct? It's, it is the powerhouse of the cell. And that's other nonsense. Why does bread heal you? A baguette should double as a club, too. But you forget my diet. My diet is the French diet, sir. See? My diet is the baguette. The baguette is my food. Look who it is. Yeah, get me the health flask upgrade. Especially for what's coming up next, because it's going to take a while. Need seven more items. Uh, we could upgrade, get some weapons. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, you got the blood sword and the mutate. Oh, okay, you just instantly dropped them. We'll get the blood sword upgrade just to get a uh, item unlocked in the first place, but I think I'm actually going to work on the next level of gold reserves. No, I would take the blood sword, but no thank you. We can get one more mutation. That mutation will be dead inside, as everything else is just kind of worthless. A lot of me's made it here before, and many more will too. In the old days, the bridge linked the village to the prison. But now, it is guarded by the concierge. Alright, you big lummox. Wait a minute, can I just instantly keep- can I keep the permafrozen this way? Okay, I was gonna say, no, they wouldn't allow that to happen, because that would be exceptionally stupid. I took a hit. That's disappointing, but not unheard of. Resist it all you want. You will be frozen. You will accept our frozen overlord. Ugh, freaking... Freaking getting stunned 24-7. My man, this sucks. You cannot reach me. You cannot move. But you definitely can hit me, because I'm a dude. This fight music is really... this. It, the fight music here does not do the thing justice for how stupid this fight actually is. Oh my gosh, I even get more stuff. And the time room. We now can go to the daily challenge in the prisoners' quarters. We could get the colorless twin daggers instead. You know what? I feel I'm feeling really good about the frost, the fro the legendary frost blast that we have. So we'll take it. 
Stilt village in the slumbering sanctuary. Hey, yo, uh, short stuff. You're right, I fucked up. Oh well. Made it this far alive, eh? Well, you know what I mean. I'm the blacksmith. I work with the collector next door. So if you got the cells, I can improve your gear. Ah, <sighs> I would love to do so, but I'm a bit busy on just doing normal upgrades. The door was sealed 31 seconds ago. I'll dump everything into gold reserves. I'm gonna keep looking at the pile of corpses. I know that the dialogue probably won't change, but I'm obligated to take a look. There's a stilt village. Down here is the slumbering sanctuary, which I physically cannot access as of yet. Hmm. I think here I'm forced to go fight the Watcher. What used to be called the Watcher. A statue of the king accompanied by a guard. And a very big one at that. A little too big. Maybe. Little did you know that the king's his own guard. Oh, that's the downside. Against any fast moving foe, I physically. Oh, you are a absolute jerk. Hello, Cannoneer. You know what? I don't need to kill any of you. Not until I get a semi decent weapon. There's a shop in here. I don't care much for the shop. There's a key and a powerhouse. Or a power up. Well, let's grab this key. At least the shield's working. Might be a little bit obnoxious to use, but at least it's working. We have access to a one village key. Now if I remember rightly, if I had the spider rune, there'd be a place up here that I could reach. And that would allow me to avoid spending the first village key, which would grant me access to a secret battle. Oh, wait, no, I need the spider room in the first place. Another frost blast. You are really. You are really obnoxious. Resist it all you want. You will be frozen, and you will enjoy it. There's a shop here, but I don't care much for it. Thank you for shooting me in the face with that massive cannon of yours. I am very much a big fan of cannons, if you didn't know. There shouldn't be any reason to go to the Clockkeeper's Tower. I'll take tactics to reduce the cooldown of, my, of the two of these. Is there any reason to go to the Clockworks Tower? Thank you, Explosives. I am a very big fan, if you ha couldn't already tell. This time I didn't make the mistake. I did actually successfully off them. So that's the doorway forward. That's my impending demise that's chasing after me. And now for the real question. Is there any reason to come up here? Not without the spider climb rune. <sighs> I hate that I need the spider climb rune again. But I also am doing this for lore's sake. 
Oh, hey. Speaking of war. Le Croissant. Now, what is in here? A lot of these red ones, which are by far the... Oh, ho, ho, hello. I can do curse chests. Let's crack this bad boy open and get something else out of it, shall we? You've outraged the gods. We get survival again. Doesn't boost our health by that much. We are definitely, definitely going to take the Nutcracker. The colorless Nutcracker instead. And I want to flip those two around so I actually remember the right combination for these things. Let's not fight you in this situation because I'm feeling I'm just going to get smacked and killed instantly. <laughs> that could have gone really poorly! Curse lifted. Thank freaking goodness. This hammer is working wonders. Now if I leap of faith over here... I was trying to roll, because if I rolled well enough I would be able to dodge some of the damage that would be coming out. Unfortunately, that really didn't work out as I expected. The headless slime controlling the corpse has indeed returned. Better than ever, and with a completely restarted game file. On account of the fact that they did a full release of this game just a few days prior. a cursed chest. It is not a cursed chest. It is actually a nightmare. There's some really good things here. Just not for me. Yeah, nice try, pirate. How did you follow me? Thank you, Zarok, for the lovely host, my friend. We are back with Dead Cells on its full release. The Clock Tower does not have any runes I'm looking for. Because after we start, it's actually better for me to go in the other direction and hopefully find a semi-decent rune. The Brain Trust has an emote indeed. It's actually been there for quite some time. Or, more accurately, it's been like maybe a month or... Is it just a month? No, I think it's like two-ish months at this point. Right, I have to go to the clock tower. Fine. I did restart the game already. This is actually the very first run on that restarted save file. Just because I've restarted the game doesn't mean I've lost all my skill with this. Just most of it. And so back up we go. I was hoping to make progress by going to two different locations simultaneously, most notably some useful ones. But really, all I can do is make sure I keep what secrets I remember. And you've been regrettably spotty in your attendance. For shame, Roke. You should be here every single time. Devote yourself to me. 